Hi folks, welcome to the second screencast for BTEC Level 2 um, in Sport. Today we're looking at joints of movement. Um, as always guys, please bring a pen and paper. Uh, you've got some additional sheets I've given you in the classroom and please make notes as we go along. Okay, so we're looking at the different types of joints and to uh, achieve P2 you need to put down the following things in your assignment. First of all, we're looking at something called a fixed joint and these are the most stable joint in the body and these joints are normally found uh, in the skull. The second type of joint is something called a slightly movable joint and this allows some movements and these joints are normally found uh, within your vertebrae column. And the third and final joint that we're looking at in more detail today is something called a freely movable joint and these are called synovial joints and these can be found in the knee and also the hip. Okay, so we are going to look at the synovial joints in more detail. You have a worksheet with six pictures of joints. You need now to uh, match the pictures to the names or types of joints. The first one we're looking at is a ball and socket joint. And these ball and socket joints can be found at the shoulder and at the hip. The second joint is called a hinge joint. And a hinge joint can be found uh, at your uh, elbow, at your knee, and also at your ankle. The next type of synovial joint is called a pivot joint. A pivot joint can be found at the top of your vertebrae column uh, where it meets, uh, kind of goes into your neck. The next type of joint is something called a saddle joint and this can be found in your thumb. The next synovial joint is something called a gliding joint. Now the gliding joint can be uh, found within various parts of your ankle uh, and your wrist joints. And the final joint is something called a condyloid joint, which can be found uh, in your wrist. So please make sure you have uh, the types of synovial joints uh, matched up to the pictures on your worksheet. Okay, you might need a pen and paper now to write some more information down. We're looking at movements allowed at these types of synovial joints. And to this we'll achieve P2 or M1. And one we'll be looking at in more detail in the classroom. Okay, so we're looking at movements allowed at these uh, at these joints: knee, your elbow, your wrist, and your hip. And at these types of joint, we can do something called flexion. Now, flexion is where the angle is decreased at the joint when movement takes place. So, if you look at the picture. The, the man has taken his arms from the side uh, of his body up towards his chin by doing a bicep curl. If you look at the black arrow, the black arrow is pointing upwards. Well, in doing that, he has decreased the angle at his elbow joint. It's got smaller, and therefore he has done flexion of his elbow joints. The opposing movement that he could do is something called extension. And here he is doing uh, some leg extensions. If you look at the black arrow again, it's pointing upwards. Extension is basically where you increase the angle at the joint. So he's taking his legs from a seated position uh, to where his legs are actually pointing out in front of him. He has extended his knee joint. He has increased the angle uh, at the knee joint. We will look at wrist and hip uh, in the classroom. So that's flexion and extension so far. Now we're looking at movements allowed at the shoulder and the hip joint. And there are two major movements that we can do at these, at these joints. The first is something called abduction. Now abduction is you're kind of taking a limb away from the body. So in terms of abduction, we mean uh, in kind of news and stuff like that, like abducting somebody away. Well, abduction is exactly the same in terms of movement. If you look at the picture there, you can see that the lower leg, the limb, has been taken away from the body. The black arrow shows this. That's abducting the hip. Well, add 
abduction is the opposing movement. You are bringing the limb, in like this case, uh, moving the hip joint back towards the midline of the body. That is adduction. Abduction is taking something away. Adding it is your adduction. That's adding it back towards the midline of the body. Okay, folks, that's about it for today. Um, we'll look at these uh, movements in more detail in the classroom and then apply them to sporting movements.